Hello, welcome to the top of the world. The wind stopped. No, it hasn't. No, so we've had wind for the last two weeks now. And uh, for the last two weeks, temperatures have struggled to get into double digits. That's anything more than 42 to most of you. How are we doing here though? Well, oh, I think we're doing all right. Have I stopped? No, I haven't stopped. I've done every day. I put in more than 3,000 nails, 1,000 screws, and uh, we've come a long way. I'll show you how far we've come. So right at the moment, I have just finished the floor. The floor. So the sawmill frame is going to sit on top of this floor. What's underneath it? Light poles. Light poles, light poles. Things that won't rot for 30, 40, 50 years. Uh, that's what's underneath. And they're ribbed all the way through. I didn't show any of this because me just nailing for days and days and days is boring. Nails. Speak. So there's 10 nails in each board, 150 boards. Right, that's just in the floor. They're the big ones. Eight inch nails. We've got the fascia up. Right, all the way along. That ties everything together. All right, and then we've got the top fascia ready for the sheets. We've got the barge boards and the side clad. All right, but that's the easy bit. I'll show you the bit that killed my back. Yeah, that's 70 feet of walling. That did it. And it's the bending down ones. Anyway, I've recovered from that. I did have to spend a few hours laid down thinking, well, why have you done that? Uh, so what we're doing is we've got to find, go and find some windows and some doors. Because uh, in this elevation here, we're having a door there, window, window. There's a partition wall going through here with a door in it. So there'll be another door there, but the wall will come all the way up. There'll be a window in here. This will be the back end here of the sawmill. It'll make sense as I'm going. And then that room there, that'll be for all the sawmill blades, the blade sharpener, everything associated with this building will be in this room. Right, now the wind is supposed to stop tomorrow. Um, so tomorrow we're gonna paint. Uh, I don't know how much we're gonna get done, but we'll try and get most of it done. And we're using the traditional red oxide powder mixed with water and some oil that is a byproduct of the iron and the copper mines here in Sweden. So it's, uh, it's what that building there is painted with and what that building there is painted with, not, the 
vibrant red you can see on that elevation of the big building. This back here, that's not been repainted since 1948. So that'll tell you how good it is. Right, that will be repainted, obviously. Right, I'm out of breath now. I'm going to go and dig through my piles and piles and piles of stuff and find some windows and some doors. And I've got windows and doors. Oh, I have got windows and doors. Let's see if we can go and find some. Well, I went digging about. And uh, it's not ideal. <coughs> but I have got it. And this is what I've got. So this is a window I took out of an old cottage. And I've got four sashes to go in it. It's a nice big one. And I've got this old interior door, which is no good for what I need, but I can make what I need out of the door. Okay, so we've done the framing. So this is this section framed off and I've done it. I've done traditional framing here. And this is this big old where the window's going to go. Window. Door. I haven't put the partition in yet. It's kind of going to make more sense now. So there'll be another wall coming through there, which is an internal wall. And then you can see this part, which is the end of the sawmill run. It's going to be enclosed. So that means I can put stuff in there and run the head of the sawmill in there in the winter. Because the head of the sawmill starts got to be down here. So that the, the sawmill head will be there. Which is the most critical. Firstly, you can't run the sawmill in reverse. But what you can do is when you're swinging logs around there that are too big, which is not often, right? The critical focus is on the sawmill head because you don't want to hit that with the log when you go in. Anyway, so now we're going to put the plastic on the front and then we can batten and board that. And then I think that's all our outside walls ready for painting, which we're going to do tomorrow. That's quite late already. I'm still going. I don't know how I'm still going, but I'm still going. Really because I know there's no wind tomorrow and the weather forecast is... I mean, if it's windy like this, I can't, I can't spray. But um, if it's not windy, then I can spray. So I think the next... The next job is, is to put the window in. Yeah, I think that's what the next job is. Right, let's put the window in.
we'll put one of the sashes in because that allows me to screw the window frame in which is a bit it's only nailed together square so if you put the sash in tight and then you can screw it in and square it off right so that's the window framing and uh, there is no door frame I want to do a door liner so I know that's right so now we can plastic this ready for boarding All right, I'm going to quit now because I think it's uh, 18.30. Might be later than that. Anyway, I've had enough. Too much. So that's ready and I'm going to uh, board that first thing in the morning. Assuming, of course, all this wind's going to stop. And it ain't stopped yet. And then we can get on and do some painting tomorrow. Or spraying. And uh, see if we can't get the first coat of red on all this. Right, we'll see you in the morning. Good morning. I don't know if you can hear that. That's the sound of people working. They were right. Stillness and almost warmth. We are going to paint today. There's absolutely no question. We're going to paint today. It's going to be warm. It's going to be still. We're going to get this section up and uh, then we're going to sweep off all the boards and then we're going to go to paint. That's the idea. So the first thing to do is, uh, is here. First thing to do is board this section, which is the final section of, of boarding. And then uh, we'll go for it.
Okay, that's that bit ready. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna prep for paint. Really important. Now when I'm sanding or doing any joinery, I prep for paint with compressed air because it's the best way. I could do this with compressed air. I've got to have cables and all this and, well, we're not gonna do that. I'll show you how I'm gonna prep.
How did I know the paint was going to run out when I finished? I don't know. enough for the moment right we've got a machine here so uh, I thought rather than pack it all away I have cleaned it out rather than pack it all away we'll finish using it while it's here and I wanted to put something on the deck so a few years ago we bought this because it was cheap keep an old wood oil right here we go it's what starts me off <sighs> paint stains I don't know for the last 25 30 years for those that are you are regular subscribers you know I've been off on this subject so many times okay so that's wood oil right Water-based, water-based wood oil, water-based oil. Let me think about that. No, let's not, let's not think about that. Let's not think about water-based oil. So my idea was to get these two cheap cans, mix it all in a bucket, put some walnut stain in there and protect the floor. Now you can't do that because the walnut stain I've got is oil-based. That oil down there is Water based. Do I want to say that again? Water based oil. <sighs> anyway, so I've got some water based paint, black, which I'm going to mix in with the oil based, with the, the water based oil. Anyway, I think it's all going to work because it's all water. Right? And then we're going to spray this deck. This smell, I smelt this tens of thousands of times before. My paint shop used to smell of this. Sickens, Axel Noble. Now, we need to do a, a small test on this before 
we mix that So you can see the floor, now it has given it an extra layer of protection. Bear in mind, this all came from the railway bridge, which means it's already impregnated. And I've turned the rough side down, which was the upside on the boardwalks. So this is the underside. So it's impregnated, but it just evens the colour and gives it more. And I really coated the first few feet because the next couple of feet is where the sawmill is going to be and then you're going to have behind the sawmill and behind the sawmill is behind the sawmill so I gave it some extra protection here and I think it looks really good I do so tomorrow's task is going to be framing the window and the door painting the frame and the trims and the sashes and making the door and you will see what I mean about making the door because it's a white interior door, which is no use. So I'm gonna show you how to fake a door, unless I'm very much mistaken. Uh, it's gotta be time to pull the boat out from behind the shed and jet wash the boat. Go and put the pontoons in. Right? Because uh, the temperature's gonna rise now and I think we're into a bit of fishing. We're not into the big fishing season yet, but I think we're, we can go and drop the boat in. Anyway, thank you all for joining me today. 
that's as far as we can go on this one. Tomorrow we're going to do the door and the windows. Um, and then probably start on the sawmill frame. I'm going to be working on all this weekend and then as of Monday, however far I've got, I have to stop and we have to go and do something else. Anyway, thank you for joining me. If you like the content, give it a thumbs up because that kind of helps, I think. Drop a comment because apparently that helps. If you're not subscribed, do that because that really helps. And we'll catch you all on the next one. Thanks again. Bye for now.